This tutorial is going to help you learn how to use Office.com to create documents, share them with others, and work on them as a team. Start out by going to Office.com. Once you're at Office.com, go ahead and sign in. Once you're done signing in, you'll see a couple of important buttons. The first one is the Install Office on the upper right corner. Since you're part of the school here, you have the option to install Office on your local computer. If you haven't done that yet, use this button to go ahead and install it. For now though, we're going to work on the Excel programs that's actually in part of your browser. Once we get into the Excel programs part of your browser, you'll see a list of files down below, but we're going to start a new document. Once this finishes loading, you'll see I have a new tab opened up called Book 2, which is my new document. We go ahead and do all the normal stuff we have in Excel. You have a file menu that allows you to open and save. You have a home ribbon with a whole bunch of formatting options, things like conditional formatting. Now the other options are not quite as full featured as the full program, but it works fairly well for basic stuff. So we have some charts, some data options, some review options, and then some viewing pieces as well. The part you're going to want to do is to start creating a document and sharing it with your friend. So for example, let's say we have an income statement. Type in a couple of values and do a simple formula. Once we're done, you want to go ahead and save this with your friend. First thing you should do, of course, is give it a better name than book two. After you've clicked on the top and given it a name, Go ahead and push enter, and now you see that save with the new name. Go ahead and share the document now by clicking on the share link in the upper right corner. Once this menu gets up, you have a couple of options to think through. The first one is if you want people to be able to view or edit the document. For your teammates, you want them to be able to edit it. So go ahead and click on the link here, and click the checkbox that says allow editing. Once this is done, click the apply button. Now you can still go ahead and start typing in names. So for example, if I wanted to share this with Dr. Marquez, I would type in her name or email at woodbury.university. Once it pops up, we can click on it, and now she will have this pop up on her office.com place. We can also add a message, and you can go ahead and click the same send button. The other option you have is just to copy the link. If you copy the link, then you can email this link to anybody you want and they'll be able to log in and edit your Excel document. It's usually a better idea though, if they're a part of Woodbury, to go ahead and add their name specifically. Once you're done, you now should see the document has been saved. You have options to share and now you can go back and look at the rest of your Excel files. Now you'll notice that the income statement file is listed under my Excel documents on office.com. The other option for office.com, which is helpful, is being able to edit it offline. If I notice, there's a button right here called Open in Desktop Application. It's, if you're going to share a file a lot with multiple people and you will get it at the same time, it's probably better to leave it in the browser. But if you're going to work on it by yourself for a while, sometimes it's faster to use the full desktop app. Go ahead and click the Open Desktop App button. It'll take it a minute to tell your computer to open up Excel. Sometimes you get permission errors, so go ahead and just grant access to stuff. And eventually Excel will start opening up the file for you. So now I have the Excel editor that's on my computer, the full program with all the options available. See how I have more ribbons up here? When I save it though, you notice it looks a little bit different. Instead of the normal save icon, it has this little syncing view. If I come here and change something, and save it, when I exit out of my local program, it synced this online. So now when I come back to my browser and resume editing, it should pick up all the changes.
So this is some basic stuff you can use to work together with your team as you create Excel files.